Welcome back to the bench and today is going to be very ZX Spectrum orientated. So I decided to get it out the other day and realised that my software on the Div MMC Future uh, was kind of all out of date and there's um, a guy called Bob Fossil at thefossilrecord.co.uk who'd written a brand new um, file structure uh, which is really exciting. I had to put the latest EXS DOS on there. And when I finally got everything working, I finally even managed to do pokes for cheats. So everything was great, except I was using the composite out of my uh, ZX. So as you can see, I ordered the ZX HD from Bike Delight. Um, I'd seen some videos online and it seemed to look really crisp. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a go. No, oh, well, we'll just plug it in and see what happens. And as you can see, they support a lot of products for the ZX Spectrum, which is really quite amazing in 2025. So hats off for everyone at Bite Delight, keeping the ZX Spectrum alive. It's an amazing amount of products that they make. And, oh, we have a stroke waffle. That's really nice. And uh, what's it? No. Oh my gosh. A ZX Spectrum key ring. What can I say? A 14 year old me could see this. Wow. Thanks, guys. What else do we have? Um, this is the case, front and back. And HDMI cable, which is a special one because it uses the small HDMI plug. So that's good. And here is the Raspberry Pi. And the board that connects everything together. And this is a, looks like another wide split board. Very similar to this one I bought off eBay, which is all part of my cunning plan to try and get all these devices connected together. Um, luckily, both these have through ports, which is uh, unheard of. I don't know if anyone's tried to connect two through ports together. And this is the SD card with the screws. How exciting. So I thought I'd make a nice espresso um, to go with my creamy snack here it'd be rude not to taste it lovely okay let's see if I can build this before I finish the biscuit I've got my anti-static wristband on probably overkill but can't be too careful so we'll just take the raspberry pie out and make note of all the where the sockets are this is the back plane that's going to connect everything to. Um, well, I don't want to break any pins. Just let me get a knife one second. Okay, now we got that out safely. Big fat chip on there. Okay, and let's take the Y board out. It's all very nicely made. And this one you can see is a bit chunky because it's going to take a lot more weight. And it's got some really nice screws to keep it sturdy. And uh, this one is going to be in a case anyway, so... Uh, let's get the screws out and the SD card. I think we actually need the uh, small bit there. Okay, let's get going. So the back panel just fits in here. It's all um, keyed so you can't get it in the wrong way around. It's all nice and firm. And the Raspberry Pi. And if the HDMI is at the top there, it can only go in one way. Uh, 
Excellent, that fits in nice and firm as well. Lovely. Let's put the front panel on. And oh, the switch. So it must be around the other way. So yeah, we can slide that in. And hopefully we can see the switch. And then we can get the back panel. Which I presume goes that way around. Otherwise the writing would be upside down. And that all fits in really nice. And the sockets are in the right places. Let's uh, put the screws in. Lovely. And there we go. One ZX HD. It's like a dream come true. Oh. Doesn't fit. So while we're here, I think I'm actually going to clean the contacts of the edge connector. I'm just going to give it um, a wipe down first with some isopropyl alcohol. And then I will just put a little bit of contact cleaner on the edge as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's worth it. Okay, now she's worthy to have the ZX HD connected. And let's put the card in. Make sure it's in properly. Nice and firm. Hopefully, when I have to see that again. So, let's just do a quick dry fit just to see if everything connects together. So we've got my extra wide splitter and the div MMC can slide in vertically this time. Make sure it's keyed in correctly. There we go. And then finally, the spectrum to go on the end of the chain. Look at that. And we'll just give a nice flyby. Has this ever been done before? I don't think so. Look at that. It's ridiculous. Uh, before we connect this to any power, I just want to check inside. Um, I just want to make sure I didn't swap the voltage regulator out. And because we don't know how much current all this stuff's going to draw, um, I might have put a 500 milliamp DC buck converter in. And for all your Spectrum aficionados, this is the serial number. So if I remember correctly, I have actually completely recapped this. Uh, oh yes, and I had to replace some memory. And this is um, some memory I bought from the legendary Jules Per Coulomb channel. And I don't have to worry too much about these membranes because uh, they're new. Okay, that's great news. This is a regular 7805, so I haven't got to worry about any excess current. And this is a 1983 issue 3B. Great, let's uh, put it back all together and hope uh, I haven't broken anything. Perfect. Okay, so now because I've had it apart, I'm just going to test it. So, yeah, that's pulling about 370 milliamps, which is about normal for ZX Spectrum. Make sure that's all connected good. And... <gasps> wow. Oh my God, it looks amazing. Um, I'm going to do um, a better video a bit later on. We press that and we should get back to a normal basic. I, I can't tell you how clear this looks, but uh, I need to show you on the other telly because I can compare it to the composite. 
Okay, so now let's add the future on this uh, Y adapter because luckily the ZX HD has a through port. So I'll just connect this in first and then connect this into the back of the ZX HD. Look at that. Very firm. Okay, we're drawing a bit more current there. And do we have access? Yes. Oh, I don't have the joystick plugged in. Okay, so let's switch it off. Always unplug the power when you're connecting or disconnecting anything on the ZX Spectrum. It's just not worth the risk. So we press this button and then press this button to get into the file system. Now the joystick should work. Just uh, let's try and find Manic Miner. Just complete an utter benchmark. Whoa! Wow! Looks amazing. Okay, let's plug in the spectrum. Complete the picture. Oh, my dream's going to come true. Okay. So uh, I've got the output connected to. Boom, looking good. So we come out of here. And now I can load my snapshot of the S Spectrum software, which has got all the sounds already loaded in and all the p patterns as well. So we can choose a pattern. Let's choose this one. And then the turn out of here and hit play. Wow. HD and Spectrum and SD cards. Oh my gosh. Seriously, if 14 year old me could see me now, he'd be so jealous. Nice one by Delight. So be a bit careful if you're going to upgrade the 5 volt regulator. If you're going to add lots of peripherals, um, be careful of the current. Okay, so we're in my studio now, which is primarily where I'm going to be using it to chill out and play some games. Um, and this is the composite out. And as you can see, it's pretty shaky. Look at the crosses there. And if I switch, look at that. Pure as the driven snow. Amazing. Look at the crosses. So a notoriously bad one here is Ad Astra. You can see there, the composite's not having a very good time of it at all. That doesn't look too bad. Look at that mess. If we switch. Look at that. No aliasing whatsoever. Look at that. Good old Phoenix. You see lots of definition there. And now look at that. Sharp as you like. It's incredible. And even the menu here, look, that you can see on the composite video compared to the HDMI, which is much sharper. That's amazing. Let's try school days. Can you guess which one this is? And if I switch it. Yep. Composite is a mess. Wow. Look at that. So there you go, ZX Spectrum in 2025, still kicking. And uh, many thanks to Bike Delight for 
Uh, such an amazing product. Everything just worked. Catch you next time.